What is going on guys? I'm Director Nat, back for another reaction, and today we're checking out Amphibia Season 1, Episode 14. This episode is called Snow Day and Cracking Mrs. Croker, so uh, I don't think we've seen snow in this show yet, and obviously another episode getting to focus on one of the background characters is always cool. I've really been enjoying the last couple episodes, and I like now having a better idea of where the story is heading long term, supposedly a quest to go beyond Wartwood and... Uh, find a way to get Anne home uh, so that should be really interesting and eventually Anne is gonna come back into contact with her friends and now uh, you know these toads at Toad Tower so uh, yeah better idea of where the story is heading which makes me more excited to see what happens next and I guess there's only one way to find out for sure so let's not waste any more time let's just get right into it snow day what do you call these again oh it's very popular where I'm from we'll see about that Holy crab apples! Until today, I've been eating garbage! <laughs> what? Uh, oh, those look good. Omelets. Uh. <laughs> it's happening! Are you sure it's happening? Dead sure. We gotta sound the alarm! Winter is here. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Hyper Day is almost upon us. Hyper Day? Once a year, the temperature drops so low that it sends everyone into instant hibernation. Frozen in place till they thaw out the next day. Every year, one townsperson disappears. Never to be seen again. And there's the weird dark turn. Possible goodbye, Wally. Possible goodbye. Possible goodbye, oh. Ivy. Possible goodbye, Tony. Possible oh, goodbye, wow. Archie. <laughs> Possible goodbye, Sprig. Possible goodbye, Hop Pop. Possible goodbye, family. Oh, wow. <laughs> not so fast. What? Harsh. You're kind of spitting on tradition, Anne. There will not be any goodbyes this year. Because this year, Warwood has me. Uh -huh. Huh? Um, hello. I'm warm-blooded. That's gross, Anne. I won't freeze. I can be your protector. And under my watch, no one will disappear again! <laughs> Ow. <laughs> You've gone from town beast to town protector. Big fan of that narrative. Alright, Hyper Day isn't till tomorrow. We're gonna live! Thank goodness, Anne's here. I'm gonna burn my will! <laughs> <laughs> All my senses feel heightened. It's like the whole world is slowed down, and I'm totally aware of everything all around me. You ever feel like that, guys? Guys? What? Oh! Crud. What the heck? Sooner than expected, and everyone's not in one place now. How am I gonna get them back to... Oh. Oh, wow. This is very light. <laughs> well, that's everyone. <laughs> that was surprisingly easy. This will be an interesting change of pace, just Anne. All I have to do is watch them. Ah! The board protector is a bad protector, so I'm gonna need to thaw someone out. Eeny, meeny, miny, spring. All right, let's make it eeny, meeny, miny, you. Oh, what? Mm. Wow. Is this going to be harmful to him somehow? Hey, Spring, catch! Yeah, got it. <laughs> oh, oh, this is Croker. I never knew. Oh, I thought they were going to throw more people out. What if they're completely aware of everything that's happening? They're gonna be like, we know what you guys were doing. <laughs> Will you go penguins wedding with me? Hop hop, check. Polly, check. <laughs> Ivy, Polly? Polly? No! No, 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 no! She's gone! What was that? Yikes. I'll keep it busy. You go get Polly. <gasps> yeah, okay. Wait, did you mean me? What? <laughs> huh? What the? Aw, conflict. No way. They're both protectors. You didn't kidnap Polly just to feed yourself. And if we take her, you'll all starve. Well, it was nice knowing you, Polly. Uh, perfect. Uh... Oh. Hmm. 
Now that's a protector. Mm-hmm. Three, two, one. And the baby thaw. Let there be light. Three cheers for Ann, the best town protector there is. Yep, leading to her being a warrior and a protector. I was a terrible town protector, you guys. I slacked off when I should have been watching you. I unfroze Sprig when I got bored. I'm fine. And worst of all, Polly almost got eaten by a giant weasel. Say what? I'm no town protector. I'm just an irresponsible kid. And you admitting that means you're more responsible than you think. Really? Yeah, if you hadn't fessed up, we never would have known anything happened. You may not be perfect, but you've proved that we can depend on you. And most importantly, this is the first year no one disappeared. All because of you. Happy Hyper Day, everyone. Yay! Woo! Oh, thanks, you guys. Hey, everyone. Check out these funny photos we took. Spring, no! Oh. <sighs> Oh, well, they weren't self-aware, but they know. Did use our frozen bodies as bowling pins? Uh... <laughs> All right, Mrs. Croker, what you got? Hiya, Sprig. Hey, Jerry. Top of the morning to you, Sprig. Looking good. Oh, dang. Buongiorno, Sprig. Hey. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Croker. <laughs> oh, yeah, they don't have the best history. Hi, Mrs. Croker. Hmm. Has it always been this way, or did something recent? It's okay if one person doesn't like you. You know what, Anne? You're right! This is not okay! That's literally the opposite of what I just said. Looks like it's, time it's like when most of your YouTube comments are positive, and then there's that one person who feels the need to leave a negative comment, and you just can't stop thinking about it. He's like, literally no. non-responsive at all. Acknowledge me! <laughs> My advice? Just let it go. Letting things go. Let go. Nah. To get Mrs. Croker to like me. And I can't do that unless I know more about her. Fact finding mission engaged! <laughs> that is so dud. I think she was born that old. She looked exactly the same when I was a kid. She smells like wet leaves and fungus. I love it. Daddy, the buns are burning! Ah! <laughs> I spent all day and I know even less about her than I did before. Ask Hop Pop. Sorry about the wait, kids. Speak of the devil. Hop Pop! Whoa! Mrs. Croker doesn't like me! Huh. So, what do you kids want for dinner? I was thinking ravioli. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ravioli, ravioli, give me the formula. The spaghetti sure is good. I have a completely reasonable plan for getting Mrs. Croker to like me. Oh, I'm sure. Well, I'm going to break into her house, search through her belongings, find the key to her secret wishes, mm -hmm. and make them all come true. Mm. Dude, what? That's completely crazy pants. Listen, Mrs. Croker's just like Jamie Krieger, who for some inexplicable reason didn't like me. Curious to know more about this now. I'm totally likable. Well, you can be a bit... Go on. Likable. Also. Darn right I'm likable. You know there's no soundproofing on these walls, right? Wait, seriously? Yep. Don't you hear Hop Hop yodel himself to sleep every night? <gasps> I thought it was a stray animal or something. <laughs> huh. Wonder what kind of book she reads. <laughs> That's gonna be hard to forget. <laughs> <laughs> Probably shouldn't put these in my mouth. I'm gonna do it. That is not why you're here. <laughs> oh, boy. There's a frog out there that wants to be with her, and that she wants to be with. Hmm, does kind of seem... She'll love me! <laughs> <sighs> so... You want to stay here and look at more pictures of Hot Croker? You read my mind! Hmm. I'm here on behalf of Sadie Croker. Sadie? Sadie Croker sent you? Well, no. It's a long story, but... This is incredible! I've been searching for Sadie for 30 years! I knew it. Now, can you tell me where she's been all this time? I'll do you one better. I'll take you right to her. Oh, boy. Here I come, Sadie. I am so scared. Do I have a surprise for you? Ooh, is it the puzzle of the month, Club? <gasps> Just Jonah? Sadie. Jonah? There's something I've been wanting to tell you for 30 years. Yes, yes, yes. Sadie Kruger. Prepare to die! 
<sighs> you thought you got the best of me in Bogwater Canyon, but I haven't forgotten. Jonah, this isn't romantic! The guild would surely take me back if I took you down. Thirty years I've been searching for you, but you hid too well. You should have let sleeping frogs lie and stayed away. You would have spared yourself from what's about to happen. What are you going to do to me now? You're just an old woman. You're old. You're old. You're old. You're old. <laughs> Step aside, boy. Put <laughs> <laughs> ah, your clothes back on, you burger. <laughs> He said the guild. Are they like bounty hunters or something? Whoa. That was awesome! What just happened? Nothing at all. Because if word of this gets out, let's just say it would be very bad for everyone. Are we clear? He slips me zip. Didn't say a thing. Yes, of course. So sorry. I wanted to get you to like me, so I kind of... Snuck into your house and secretly went through all your things. Oh. What? And I saw the stuff about Jonah, and I thought he was your long-lost love. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you think you can please everyone, kid? Jonah here don't like me. It's true. How do you people don't like those two? Well, hey now. Mission accomplished. <laughs> But, you did go through all that trouble to get me to like you. I guess I can try and like you back. Hmm, that's fair. Well, I guess we'll get going she then. She likes me! Oh, yeah. She you likes walked me. right into that one. Good luck getting rid of him now. I'm likable. <laughs> I'm lovable. Ah, crud. She likes me! Ah! Oh, that's cool. Although, if it were snowing, you think they'd need more than just a little candle to stay warm. Hensburg would be frozen, but uh, whatever. Okay, guys, so that was Amphibious Season 1, Episode 14. This was an interesting case where I actually liked the first half of the episode more than the second half. I just thought the uh, whole premise with uh, everyone getting frozen was a cool change of pace, like primarily Kimi had uh, focused on Anne, even though she does unfree Sprig, and it puts an interesting challenge on her. Like, uh, she's protected people in the town in the past, and everyone's come to really trust her now. She has to put that to the test, and just the snow is uh, an interesting setting and i thought it was cool how she realized that that creature was just trying to uh protect uh, its own at the end and uh, they, they even brought the omelet joke from the beginning back full circle so that that was a that was cool and lots of fun moments with her and sprig messing with everyone while they're frozen but as for the second half it was cool getting to learn a little more about mrs croker because obviously there's always been more to her than meets the eye but it seems that she has an actual uh, mysterious past now like uh, uh, that guy who was trying to kill her mentioned something about a guild, which makes me think that they're like bounty hunters or part of a secret society or something like that. So I'm very curious to learn more of what that's all about. And I'm also wondering what exactly she did to Jonah now that he's trapped in her house and she can't exactly let him go. But it's a kid show. We don't need to think about that. So, yeah, pretty fun episode overall. Interesting that I actually liked the first half more than the second half. And it gives yet more details that make me excited to see what happens next. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to you guys what did you think of this episode what are some episodes you're looking forward to me reacting to the most as we get closer and closer to the end of the season whatever it is feel free to share your thoughts down in the comments and let me know what you think if this is your first time on the channel be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing also be sure to check out my other videos it really does mean a lot and as always thank you so much for watching and i will see you for amphibia episode 15.